What is true RMS and why is it important to us? There are two ways that meter can, meters can take readings. When they're taking an RMS measurement, what we're reading is we're actually reading the RMS value of a signal. And what the RMS relates to is if I take a 120 volt signal, AC, apply it to a resistor, and then I take a 120 volt DC battery, apply it to the same resistor, it'll heat that resistor to exactly the same temperature. If we use an average responding meter, what an average responding meter does is it takes the average of a signal, multiplies it by 1.111, and then displays the RMS. So it's actually average sensing RMS display. This was fine when we had a world of nothing but linear loads. Nowadays we have a lot of electronic loads such as drives and even simple lighting controls. So if we take a reading on a signal that is not a clean sine wave that has some distortion in it, the average responding meter takes the average, multiplies it by the same 1.11, but because the signal has changed, this is now the wrong number and it's giving us the wrong RMS measurement. A true RMS meter actually does this conversion inside the meter and gives us the true RMS reading. So when we're working with any type of electronic load, it's important to have a true RMS meter because if we look over at the oscilloscope, here I'm showing the voltage signal in red and the current signal in blue. Even just taking this dimmer switch, you notice how the signal gets distorted, but an important aspect is as it gets distorted, the peak gets higher. So what happens is you'll actually read a signal too low with an averaging RMS versus a true RMS and this could cause you a lot of problems if you have a breaker that's popping intermittently and you measure it with an average responding meter you're reading 13 amps on a 15 amp breaker you say okay well that's not the problem if you take a true RMS meter you might read 18 amps on that 15 amp breaker and then you're saying gee I wonder why it's not popping all the time so in today's world of electronic loads it's very important to have a true RMS multimeter or a true RMS clamp meter to get the correct reading on current.